guys. Um, I just want to do a quick video while the kids are running around getting dressed. Um, I know I'm always talking about the fears and the stress and the aggression of autism, but I also want to take a few minutes to show, um, or at least say about the fun, the joys, the excitement that we get to have. Um, for uh, neurotypical children, uh, parents are usually like, okay, potty training around this age, uh, they get to talk around this age, and they get super excited if it happens before that milestone. Um, once we realize that our kids are pretty much far behind, and it's almost a waiting game on when they'll make those milestones. So when we get surprised that they do get to make those milestones, we get super excited. Oh, my dog. <laughs> um, for instance, um, potty training. Potty training is still a huge struggle for us. Um, so any time Scott makes it to the restroom, we get super excited. And we get to get excited every time because there are days he just won't and there are days that he just will. I mean, it's a super big hit and miss um my cat and then the other uh probably at last year at the end of the summer um scott took the toothpaste the lid off the toothpaste and put it onto the toothbrush and i just didn't even know he could do that because we get i just we get into that habit of doing four and uh, mornings are super rough, so it's hard for me to just back off and just let him do things. But sometimes when it comes to brushing teeth, it's like, I'm just going to do it to get it done. Uh, we're running late anyway. And so when I stopped and had him do it, he did it. And it, it shocked me. And this is, he was already the end of eight years old, the beginning of nine years old. So we get to get excited for that. So I posted it on Facebook, and then other people are like, yeah. And that's why I um, stress on support so much. Because, yes, you need that support from other caregivers and family members that are going through the same thing you are going through. And are going to help with advice and stuff. But you also need that support to celebrate these milestones. To celebrate these little things that happen. Because... In our home, it's a big thing. It's not like this little thing that just happened. It is a huge thing, and we celebrate the absolute heck out of it because he might not ever do it again. So we've got to take it uh, as for it is. I'm watching my cat pull things out of the drawer. Uh, so we got to take things as it comes, and we get to get surprised about it. Um, having... Scott uh, say his first sentence was incredible. That just happened. And now that he's saying his first sentence, his communication is starting to develop more. And again, he's nine years old, just barely starting to talk. We get to get excited because we don't know if it's ever going to happen again. So when you have these rough days and you're standing there in front of his door or their door crying because you just don't know what to do anymore, remember that there's going to be exciting times. There are joy, There is a lot of joy that comes out of it. And then all the hard work that you have put in really starts to come out. And you get to realize, like, we did it. So I encourage you guys to stay positive as much as you can because um, you do get to get excited over these things too.